Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're going to check it out. Spline, they dropped some really cool updates, and, and I want to check those out. You know, you're going to see how to do these really cool glassy effects, how to animate them, how to color them in order to create these results. All right, first step, I'm going to delete this rectangle, select and delete. And here you can see the big background color. I'm going to select it and eventually change it to something light. Now I'm going to select the sphere, and I'm going to create a sphere. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up. And what we have to do here, we're gonna change the color. I'm gonna change the color here. I'm gonna go, let's say, with a blue, with a lighter blue. And I can change the light from normal to overlay. Actually, I'm thinking to change it. I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna do it like this. So I'm gonna click on the plus. I'm gonna select depth. And I'm gonna click here on this one. So it's going to show basically the options. I'm going to select this little dot here and now you can pull the whole settings and I can pull it right here. And I'm going to click on the white color and I can change it. So it was like uh, somewhere on magenta. I'm planning to change it to blue. Why is that changing? There you go. Now it's changing. Now it's blue. I'm going to select the code control C, click on the black, type in control V, enter. And we're going to scale down the opacity. You can scale it down right here, bring it down to zero. Now we get, I'm going to add another uh, depth. Click. We're going to make this white. So I'm going to select this also and make this white. And I'm going to select the left one, decrease the gradient. And I can pull this. And also you can pull these to narrow it down even more. So right now the gradient is, gradient is a little bit harsher. So the blue is kind of harsh. I'm going to go back to the depth and I'm planning to adjust this also a little bit more. I'm going to pull this here and pull this out. It's going to look something like this. Now I'm going to select it, go click here on the material on these four little circles. And I'm going to add the plus, rename it here, click here and you can rename it. I'm going to go with uh, magenta blue slash blue. Actually, just magenta and that's it. So here you can see the options. It basically saved it. And now you can see the new color that we created. So I'm going to select this, press Control C, Control V, create a new copy. And we're going to adjust, readjust the colors and create a new color. So first of all, what we're going to do is click on this little lock, the link here. What is that? I don't know what is it called. So it's going to unblock all the settings with the with the colors and the facts and what I'm gonna do is change the color Ooh, this one is perfect actually I like it okay so this is gonna be orange and we're gonna go to the depth with the blue I'm gonna select the blue and I'm gonna test out something else I'm gonna wor work with a purple maybe and I might also bring this a little bit up and now I'm going to go again to the little plus, I mean to the little four circles in here, click add. I'm going to rename this, click on this, and I'm going to rename this uh, orange. And I'm also going to do another one, control C, control V. This is going to be blue. Click on this uh, link. I'm going to change the color to, ah, there you go. This is perfect. I'm thinking to change it maybe to yellow, the depth. I'm not sure. I'm going to go to the depth and so basically you adjust the colors however you like. And I might go back to, wait a sec, I'm gonna leave it like this now. And I'm gonna click on the materials, click on the plus, uh, then click here on the materials, untitled material, rename it blue. Good. I might add some fresen to the orange also. So I'm gonna add, click on the plus, I'm gonna change to fresnel. I'm gonna, where's that? I'm gonna decrease the Fresnel. So around 80, I can drag it under the depth. Let's see how it looks. Good, I'm gonna change the orange. I'm gonna scroll down to something stronger. Ooh, there you go. Okay, we're gonna also decrease the Fresnel because it's a little bit hard. So I'm gonna click on the Fresnel. We get the bias, scale, intensity. We're gonna adjust here. Actually, the scale is pretty nice. Intensity, yeah, factors. I'm gonna need to decrease the bias, maybe. Anyways, I'm gonna maybe Fresno, we're gonna decrease the opacity of 80. There you go. And I'm gonna change the depth of the orange, you know, the dark one. 
to red actually. Let's bring the Fresno under the light. Ooh, that's even more shinier. So I'm gonna leave it like this. We got like three colors in here. The material assets, blue, orange, magenta. Background color, I'm gonna insist more on blue. And then we're gonna make another one that, got, that is gonna be the glass. Control C, Control V. I'm gonna position it here. And I'm gonna click on this and change the color to white. The light is good. We're gonna go and delete one of the depths. And I'm gonna delete, which is the, this is the white. I'm gonna delete the white so we're left with this one. I'm gonna change the depth color to a perp. Something like that. Some bluish purple, something light here. And I'm gonna add a glass. Here is the glass. Bring the glass under the depth. If I bring it here, let me check what happens. I'm gonna select it, bring it to the front, click on the little little blue here. So now we can see exactly what we're doing. So I'm gonna go back to the glass. I'm gonna increase the bias. So around 30 to be more blurry. We get the thickness, one. Let me check real quick. So yeah, it starts to come together. I go to the glass. So if you decrease the bias, it's gonna be like really sharp. I'm gonna increase it a little more. So around 11. Yeah, I get, this is gonna be like 230 something. And I'm gonna add another Fresnel. Click on the little plus, select Fresnel. I'm gonna bring the Fresno under the depth. So now it's like halfway in shadow. And I'm gonna decrease the Fresno a little. So now it looks something like this. Now all we need to do is create a composition. You can multiply these circles, scale them. For example, I'm gonna put some one here and one here. I wanna scale this a little more. And I'm gonna scale this down. And of course, we're gonna change the positions. And I'm also going to select the perspective. So now we're going to start having some shadows in here. And uh, we got, basically here we got the light. You know, we can adjust the light. Oh, I didn't save the glass. I'm going to need to save it. I'm going to click on these four things. Click on the little plus. On title materials, glass. I'm gonna select this one and click on the link. I'm gonna need to adjust the white gradient. Bring it here. Gonna go and adjust it some like this. I'm gonna adjust the background also. Oh, there you go, this one is good. We're gonna add some blur. So I'm gonna pull some of the objects back. I'm gonna go with this blue. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna do the same thing with this purple. Now I'm gonna select the rectangle. I'm gonna create a rectangle basically separates the last two and I'm gonna pull this also right here from here I'm gonna select it and add where was that add a glass there you go so these are going to be in blur basically so it looks something like this so far now I'm gonna select these one by one for example I'm gonna select the glass and I'm gonna click on smooth and edit Click on the brush, select the brush, and I'm gonna go with uh, the grab. You can also increase the radius and the strength of the brush. I'm gonna increase the radius, something like this. And I'm gonna try to distort it a little. Basically do the same thing with the rest too. I'm gonna click on the X, click on the X again. Now I can select the rest of the forms, apply smooth and edit, select the brush, Grab is good, and now you can adjust however you like.
there you go and we're gonna start to animate these so i'm gonna select for example this i'm gonna click on the state and now we can i'm gonna scale this i mean you can scale the width and i'm gonna start distorting this there you go i'm gonna click on the event click on the state state mouse hover and i'm gonna go to the sphere to spring and this should be on state so if i click on play as you can see start to boing added a little bit of animation uh also i can i'm gonna click on the state and i'm gonna rotate it let me see i'm gonna rotate minus 31 and i'm gonna click on play now it also rotates it you know it animates distorts rotates and i'm gonna do the same thing with this state and basically this is how you do with all the shapes and this is how you make these blobs these colorful blobs 3d blobs in spline thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end